Hi, welcome to this corporate maths video on primary data and secondary data. In this video, we're going to start off by giving a definition for primary data and secondary data. Then we're going to go through examples of where primary data and secondary data may be obtained. And then we're going to go through the advantages and disadvantages of using primary data and secondary data. So first of all, what is primary data? So primary data is information that's collected in by the person or for the person that's going to use it. So it's data collected in for a particular purpose. Secondary data is information that was collected in for other purposes. So let's look at some places of where you may obtain primary data. So primary data may be obtained by carrying out a survey or carrying out interviews, by carrying out experiments, by making observations, by completing uh, surveys, perhaps telephone surveys or even online surveys. And there are examples of where primary data may be obtained. And it's important that it's obtained for that particular purpose. So for instance, if I was a head teacher and I wanted to find out if the students, staff and parents liked a new school uniform, I might ask my staff to carry out a survey so give out um, a survey to each student each parent each member of staff and then they would be completed and they collect those in and then that would be primary data because it's a survey that I've carried out or I've got people to carry out for me for a particular purpose carrying out an experiment so for instance if we wanted to find out the reaction times of some students uh, we might give them a ruler and you know drop it three times and see how long it takes them to catch that ruler and then we could use that information and that's information that we've collected in ourselves so that is primary data observations so for instance if we wanted to see how busy a road was we could or i could or i could ask somebody to do a tally chart for how many cars travel down that road in one hour and then that would be data that we've collected in ourselves through observations so that would be primary data and even uh, telephone surveys or online surveys um, as long as the survey or the you know the telephone survey or the online surveys carried out or designed by the person that's carrying out the investigation for the purpose of collecting data in for that investigation then that would be primary data. Let's look at where uh, some examples of where secondary data may come from. So it may come from books within in, inside a library obviously <laughs> or elsewhere um, online and um, that's sort of a common source of secondary data people you know getting data um, you know information from online and then using that. News articles and news reports, journals, within the census, carrying out uh, surveys that might have been carried out for other investigations. So these would be source, uh, uh, sources of secondary data. So it'd be data that was collected in by, uh, by somebody else for another purpose and then could be used you know, subsequently. So let's look at some advantages of using primary data. So the advantages of using primary data, well, first of all, the knowledge of how the data was collected. So going back to those experiments and catching the ruler, um, you know, we might know um, that the ruler needs to be held level with the fingers and then released. Um, you know, so we know if, the, if that information is you know, collected fairly or if it was a survey, we might know that the questions, how they were designed so that they're not leading questions and so on. So that's an advantage of collect, using primary data, that, that knowledge of how the data was collected. Also, the knowledge of how reliable the data is or how reliable the data isn't. But that knowledge, if, you know, like if you're collecting in that information yourself or someone's collecting it in for you, it's, it's probably going to be much more reliable than using secondary data sources like, for instance, the Internet, which can be very unreliable you know, at times. OK, the flexibility. If you're collecting inform information yourself and you're perhaps carrying out telephone interviews, you might decide to adapt or you know or change the questions as you're carrying out the survey. So that might be you know kind of advantage you using primary data, that sort of flexibility in how the you know experiments carried out or the surveys carried out. Okay, the disadvantages of using primary data. So obviously there's the time aspect. If, if you're carrying out investigations or surveys or even telephone interviews, that's going to take a lot of time. Also, then that means it's going to be quite expensive. Um, another disadvantage of using primary data could be the limit to the sample size. If you're doing telephone surveys, you might not be able to interview thousands of people, but there might be data online which could be used, which you know might help out. So a disadvantage of using primary data might be there's a limit to how many people are included within the, the survey or the interview. Okay, so uh, advantages and disadvantages of using secondary data. So first of all, secondary data is very easily obtained or it can be easily obtained, for instance, online or within a book. Um, so that's an advantage. Also, the fact that it's inexpensive, it can be quickly obtained and, you know, so time's not going to be needed to be spent interviewing or surveying people. Someone else has already done that for you, so that's inexpensive. 
The disadvantage of using secondary data, the big one is it may be unreliable, so particularly if it's on um, you know, online, it might may be made up or it may even be, you know, the questions were leading questions which were used to collect in that information. So there may be different reasons why it's unreliable, but secondary data can be unreliable. Um, also, you don't know how the, you know, which collection methods were used to collect it. So you don't know if it was fair um, or, you know, the, you know, who's included within the sample and so on. So there are the advantages and disadvantages advantages of secondary data. Um, so the main thing is primary data is information collected in by the person or for the person that's going to use it and secondary data is information that was collected in for other purposes and then can be used afterwards. Okay.